Is humankind on the verge of open extraterrestrial contact? And if so, is the current disclosure movement a first step towards revealing a collective of non-terrestrial intelligences working together within a galactic federation? For more than 60 years, alternative media has explored the idea of a galactic federation. From popular sci-fi shows to individuals who claim to be in communication with extraterrestrial intelligences, the possibility of a galactic federation as reality has been made more significant with its acknowledgement by the former general and head of Israel's Defense Ministry's Space Directorate, Chaim Eshed, when he publicly proclaimed Earthlings have been in contact with extraterrestrials from a galactic federation. In December 2020, Chaim Ashed, who is a retired Israeli security chief, talked to the Jerusalem Post and said, ah, there is a galactic federation and they've been involved with human affairs, but they're staying hidden right now because we're not ready for them. And they want us to know they're, they're here to observe us and they're very interested in the fabric of the universe and we need to know more about the fabric of the universe. Well, that's pretty extraordinary. Former Canadian Minister of National Defense and longtime member of Parliament, the late Honorable Paul Hellyer, was the first and only cabinet-ranking official from a G8 nation to publicly state his belief in extraterrestrials and the alleged Galactic Federation of Aliens. Well, I, have, I only know about the Galactic Federation, but they are concerned about what's going on in the world. And they have been working um, through individuals. They say, you clean up your act. You're in charge, it's your planet. And if it comes to a dead end, it will be because you let it or made it a dead end. Even in my conversations I had with the late Paul Hellyer, he told me that we had extraterrestrials helping our scientists on Earth at bases, and there was full cooperation with them. Paul would say that these were part of a galactic federation. Tim, a tactical advisor to covert analysts in Germany, trying to understand the missions and strategies of non-terrestrial intelligences on Earth, recalls information from a collective of beings in the sixth density that Tim refers to as being six. I also have heard Being Six talk about some of its members being part of a galactic federation. So there seems to be a lot of truth to it. One of the first things in a dualistic universe that you know comes up within species is alliantship, which means um, finding people who support your own position, which um, I would say is a truth um, all over the place in the universe. You have like many alliances. The greys are setting up their own alliance, so to speak, but different other species as well, you know, have contracts which, with, with each other. And being six directly spoke about a galactic federation, yes which basically makes sense because you have so many cultures and so many different planets and so many different standpoints going on in the universe that it totally makes sense to have some kind of regulatory system that might balance that out. And this is the way I understand a galactic federation. It seems to be quite a complicated situation because you have so many different agendas going on. While no one can say with certainty when the Galactic Federation was first created, some experts suggest it may have been as much as hundreds of thousands of years ago. My understanding is that this is the time where there has been a sort of competition, some sort of conflict that started to happen within this galaxy. Most researchers agree that the Galactic Federation started as a defense treaty from reptilian expansion into our galaxy. At that time, it was decided or decreed, if you will, uh, that a kind of a neutral organization be put in place to be able to supervise and maintain the order within this galaxy. You have to remember, this galaxy is part of a larger conglomerate of galaxies. 
and then the universe. So there are larger organizations that are also in charge of maintaining order across the universe. And so when one particular area is struggling with any sort of conflict or issues between species, then that larger organization is going to say, we need some local organization that will supervise this area of the universe and make sure it maintains the order that is necessary. Through his role as a tactical advisor in the German equivalent of unacknowledged special access programs, Tim has had more than 100 face-to-face -face encounters with the extraterrestrial species referred to as the Greys, which he describes as having an artificially created body into which they download their individual consciousness. Tim believes they're a benevolent race who have an influence on the Galactic Federation. The way I understand it um, is that there's not only one singular Galactic Federation and it definitely has not, um, you know, influence over every single part of the universe. It seems to be a construct um, which seats, uh, seems to be set up for uh, more and more species and planets. Um, but there are also like um, a, different federations and different interest groups and uh, very strong boundings or loose boundings uh, all over the place in the universe. So I have in-depth knowledge about the federation that the Greys are in, where human military personnel is also engaged and different other warrior type species. I personally think that this is different than what pop culture and media portrays as Galactic Federation or even that Galactic Federation that um, Israel was speaking about. I think they have a different mindset, but I mean, there still seems to be some overlapping influences here and there. While one might assume that there are ongoing contact scenarios between Federation members and various governmental, military and interest groups on Earth, countless individuals worldwide also claim contact with Galactic Federation members. Since the 1950s, we have seen just a sort of a parade, if you will, of people that maintain that they have had encounters with representatives of the Galactic Federation, that they themselves are agents of the Federation, and that they are now bringing forward this message. So what is the role of the individual in this scenario? I and mean, part of it is to say, well, if you are receiving that information, to make sure you are the best representative of that information, that you're not just saying things that are coming off the top of your head, that there is some kind of backup for what you're saying. I mean, if you're gonna put yourself on a, out like that, you're willing to be put on a stand and tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And so we have to be sure that what the individuals are bringing forward does have some connection to reality, let's say. And that to, to me is, is sort of tricky because individuals don't carry the clout that a government does. And so it's a sort of a David versus Goliath scenario. But if you put together multiple individuals, multiple eyewitnesses that have all seen the same thing and are carrying essentially the same message, now that's a whole different story. And that's what's happening today. Matthias de Stefano expands on the idea of the Galactic Federation as a group of species who share the same ideals to include entire planets as one consciousness. He calls this the Confederation. The word Confederation actually comes from the Latin and means those who share a faith together that they trust to one another. So a confederation is basically a group of planets that trust each other. And their agenda is basically to help those planets that are willing or in process of evolution towards consciousness to find their own way of acknowledging themselves. So what they started to do was to work with these planets uh, that were in the path of evolution so they could share much more data. So it's not that they are having this agenda of helping humans because they love humans or because we are the good ones or whatever. It's just because they see that our planet, like many others, has the potential of sharing a lot of data, 
a lot of information. Sometimes when you think about the Galactic Federation, you have to try to think about, uh, about it like if you are talking about your own brain, trying to figure out something and connecting neurons, data, and, and improving the way in which you understand the reality around you.